Hello and welcome to the roundup of this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 26 August 2022. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly senior online writer Darren Parker unpacks the new Gauteng Urban Hub, which seeks to strike an inclusivity and tech-savvy balance. The Lanceria Smart City initiative has steadily been gaining momentum over the past two years. The new urban economic hub is planned to become home to between 350,000 and 500,000 people over the next decade and forms part of government's economic reconstruction and recovery plan. The engineering news features focus on ESCOM, where South Africa needs to promptly implement small interventions to ease the pressure on the national electricity grid and women in industry, where education helps the company empower women in technical fields. The Mining Weekly features focus on environmental, social and corporate governance, where an Africa-focused conference will provide key ESG insight for industries. And Platinum Group Metals, where South Africa is poised to benefit from PGM's growth. This week's business leader is Tebogos Kwambane, the country manager of WPP in South Africa. And as this week's cartoon shows, the latest Northern Hemisphere summer has been characterized by extreme heat waves, droughts and wildfires, which have definitely thrown a spotlight on climate change and its destructive consequences. We hope you enjoy this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy by emailing subscriptions at engineeringnews.co.za. Happy reading and see you next time. 